Okay, let's practice solving basic equations in algebra. So that's the topic of this video. We're going to solve for m. Now, if you think you could do this, I certainly encourage you to pause the video and uh, solve for m and put your answer into the comment section. But um, here's the thing. With this particular video, not only um, are we looking to find the solution, i.e., uh, what m is equal to, that would be the uh, solution to this equation, but I'm really also... Um, want to kind of make sure you have the correct format uh, when we're solving equations or working with algebra. And I'm going to tell you right now, neatness, organization, structure is absolutely critical. So even though you might uh, get the right answer, if your work isn't uh, super clear and structured and neat. In other words, here is your work, okay? Could you give this to somebody like a teacher and could they kind of like read your work and just say, wow, this person knows exactly what they're doing. It's evident because they're showing me, you know, all the steps to solve this equation. So as you do this, uh, as you solve this, if you think you can solve this, make sure you keep your work in mind. The way you write uh, uh, mathematics, remember, math is a language, okay? This is no different than like the English language or any other language. If you're going to tell a story, you know, from the beginning to the end, you're not going to be like, uh, once upon a time, and that is all, folks, okay? <laughs> You're not going to have a... You need the middle part, right? We need to tell the entire story uh, one step at a time. So this is a huge part of uh, doing mathematics. So we're going to uh, practice telling these uh, stories, these math stories, in terms of solving the equations like this. Not that difficult of a problem. But uh, we're going to get into all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a difficult time in math, I'm just telling you right now, there is hope. You can be successful in math, even if you failed math uh, several times before in the past. Whatever you, your brain is telling you, whatever you think uh, your potential as a math, you're probably uh, severely underestimating your abilities, okay? What you need is excellent math instruction. So if you don't feel like you're getting the right uh, amount of instruction, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, well, I've been teaching math for decades, and I break things down in very bite-sized uh, component, clear and understandable parts. So anyone could be successful in mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, in terms of math, I can help you uh, with your respective math courses. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, CLEP exam, uh, ACCUPLACER, maybe a teacher certification exam. You get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out all my homeschool courses, program, full curriculum, everything you need to be successful in homeschooling. And if you don't have any math notes, uh, listen, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to uh, my notes in the description of this video. But just remember this. If you want great grades in math, it starts with you taking excellent math notes. Okay, you got to take great math notes. Can't be lazy. Can't be like, eh, I don't need notes. Listen, this you start improving your notes, you'll see your grades improve immediately. All right, so let's get into this problem. Again, if you think you could solve it, pause the video. Put that uh, answer into the comment section. But let's go down here real quick and just talk about uh, some basic concepts when we're solving equations. So when we're solving equations, there's two things I want you to keep in mind. What we're trying to do is get that variable all by itself on the left-hand side. So in this case, it's going to be m. Okay, so we're going to have to take whatever steps we need to get that one variable m all on the left. And then uh, we're going to end up with one number on the right. Okay, so really we want to come up with something like m is equal to 2. This would be the solution to that equation if we did everything uh, correct. So uh, now all your variables are not going to be on the left-hand side of the equation. So we're going to have to take steps to combine things and move all the numbers to the, uh, all the variables to the left and all the numbers to the right. So that's uh, kind of a big picture concept when we're solving equations, okay, especially uh, linear equations in algebra, all right? So that's the first thing. Now, the second um, big concept that I want you to keep in mind is that equations are balance scales, okay? They're like a teeter-totter or a seesaw, okay? So whatever we do 
to one side of the equation, as long as we do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation, we'll be okay. So imagine this was a perfect balance. If I said, hey, well, I'm going to add three over here to this side of the, of the scale, what happens? Well, it's going to get heavier. than If this was already in balance and I just threw three pounds over here, well, this is going to be heavy, right? Well, how can I balance this out? Well, I could remove the three or I could just add another three like this and this here would get back in balance, okay? So the main thing is, uh, the main concept when we're solving equations, when we take steps, is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you gotta do the exact same thing to the other side, okay? You, that could be, um, you can add whatever you want to both sides, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can divide, okay? So that's one of the main, main concepts. When you're taking steps, you gotta take the exact same step to both sides, both sides of the equation, but remember what you're trying to do with these steps is to get uh, your variable uh, all by itself on the left-hand side and that number all by itself on the right-hand side. So this is a big uh, picture concepts about solving equations in algebra. All right, so let's get into this solution now. And here is our lovely uh, equation 3M. Let me scoot this over to the center. Uh, you want to be um, really as neat as possible, okay? Neat and structured. Or this is so important. Now, how do you how do you know how to work this problem? Well, hopefully you have an excellent teacher that's showing you by example, okay? So you want to be uh, following your teacher's example of how to do the work, and hopefully they're going to do, do the problem like I'm going to show you how to do this right now. Okay, so we have 3m, okay, so this variable, this is, we have to kind of assess what's going on. We have this variable over here, but we have another variable term over here. So this 10m is on the right-hand side of the equation, so I'm going to have to link it up, and I'm going to have to move that over to the other side. So remember, I told you all the variable parts have to be to the left, and then all the numbers have to be to the right. So I'm going to have to deal with this uh, negative eight. I'm gonna have to move this over. So we're gonna have to move some things over. So let's start off with uh, the eight here, okay? We'll start off by moving this eight over to the other side, okay? So how can I uh, address this? Well, knowing what I know, okay, I'm like, well, I can add, if I have a negative eight, if I add eight to this, that definitely removes it from moves this uh, number from the left-hand side. But here's the deal, okay? Because I added eight to the left-hand side of the equation, I must add eight to the right-hand side. Remember, we got to keep this thing in balance. So this is exactly how you want to write this, okay? You want to write it, put an eight just like this, and you want to put things in a kind of a column format, okay? There's another format, but just follow my format. It's better, believe me, on that one, okay? All right, so now we can kind of add down in a column uh, manner. So we have 3m plus nothing is 3m. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Okay, now we don't need to write a 0 there because uh, it's just implied there's nothing there, okay? So the, this already has removed our 8 from the left-hand side, or it's removed this number. We don't want that number on the left-hand side. We just want that variable. So we have 10m plus nothing is 10m. And now we have 1 plus 8, which, of course, is 9. So this is our first step. Okay, now you could start with the variable, but I just chose to start with the number. So now we have 3m is equal to 10m plus 9. So we added 8 to both sides. Of course, we can do anything we want as long as you do it to both sides of the equation. And this is uh, our, our first step. So we're like, oh, okay, this is pretty good. So just sizing things up here for a second, we have all of our numbers now on the right-hand side, okay? Now I'm gonna have to get this other variable term over to the left, so let's go ahead and use the same concept here that I did with the eight to move this 10M over. I don't want that 10M over there because it's on the right-hand side. I want the variables on the left-hand side, so how can I get rid of this positive 10M? Well, how about we just subtract 10M away from that positive 10M because this is gonna be zero. Okay, that works. But remember, whatever I do to the left-hand side, I got to do to the right-hand side. So there you go. Okay, so we're going to put this negative 10m right here. So we're adding neg uh, negative 10m from both sides of the equation, or we're subtracting 10m from both sides of the equation. Uh, either way, uh, however you want to interpret it, it's uh, it's equivalent. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do this. 3m minus 10m. Hopefully. 
you know the rules for positive and negative numbers, and hopefully you said negative 7m. Okay, so if you did that, that's excellent. That's a negative 7m. And if you're confused about that, I have tons of videos on my pre-algebra playlist on the rules of positive and negative numbers. But if you don't understand how to mult um, add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and negative numbers, you're not going to be able to, uh, to handle equations in an algebra. So go back and review this, and then you can come back and return to this stuff. All right, so we have negative 7m, or 3m plus, or 3m minus 10m is negative 7m. 10m minus 10m is 0, plus 9 plus 0 is 9, okay? Now, I have my negative 7m over here, my 9 over here, but let's kind of tighten this up. Uh, so we have negative 7m is equal to 9. Okay, so we're almost there. Remember, the whole objective here is to get m is equal to one number. And in this case, what do we need to do, okay, to get m by itself? Well, remember, I'm thinking I could, here's my little balance scale again. I can add uh, uh, anything I want to both sides of the equation. I can subtract anything I want. I can multiply as long as it's the same number and I can divide, okay? So I'm looking at this. I want m, which is really a positive 1m, okay? That's really technically what that is. It's a positive 1m. We just write this as an m. So how can I get a positive 1m uh, right here? Well, how about we just divide negative 7 by negative 7. Anything divided by itself is positive 1. So that's what we're going to do, okay? So right here... I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by this negative 7. So negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1m or positive m, okay, by itself. So our answer is uh, negative 9 over 7. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, isn't, uh, isn't the answer 9 divided by negative 7? doesn't make a difference. This right here, negative 9 sevenths. Uh, 9 divided by negative 7 or negative 9 over positive 7. They're all equal, okay? They mean the same thing. Effectively, it's nine, uh, negative 9 sevenths, okay? But this is the answer, okay? So M is equal to negative 9 sevenths, and we cannot uh, uh, reduce this. So that is the final answer. And if you got that right, boy, that's pretty awesome. I must go ahead and give you a happy face with a good old... Matter of fact, that was so good. I'm going to put in some different colors in your 19... Uh, let's call this a 1984 Mohawk, A plus, 100%. Nice job, okay? So very, very good. Here's the deal, okay? Uh, when it comes to um, algebra, again, you got to understand these basic concepts. you got to tell the story, all right? So even a simple equation like this involves all these different steps, okay? And if you're going to have a difficult time with this, or if, if you had a difficult time with this, it's probably because you're not keeping these main concepts in mind, okay? In other words, we need to get all the variables to the left-hand side, all the numbers to the right-hand side. Well, how do we do that? Well, we got to keep in mind that what we can take these steps, uh, as long as we do the exact same thing to both sides of the equation, okay, that's how we're going to, you know, take the steps necessary to get the variable on the left and the number on the right. And in the end, okay, if we do this right, we'll have the solution, but we're also going to have to be very familiar with uh, how to work with numbers, both positive and negative numbers. In this particular problem, we didn't have any fractions, but you may very well have fractions, decimals, etc. But um, anyways, uh, when it comes to equations, all right, what you want to do is master the nice and easy, uh, nice basic equations and work your way up. All right? So if you're having a difficult time with more, you know, challenging equations than this, you know, or even this equation, if this was too challenging, you want to go back and revisit things like one-step equations, like two-thirds m is equal to five, right? Master these basic one-step equations, and then you know, um, you know, go from there, if you will. But if you're um, making mistakes with positive-negative numbers, you're going to have to go and practice that, so you you know you don't make these errors, all right? So if you're catching a, a trend, if you're like, oh, I'm still making these mistakes, you have to correct them. The, the mistakes aren't going to these misunderstandings are going to correct on themselves. So do something about it. And uh, the good thing about it is, if you like my teaching style, I have tons of videos on all types of different topics, especially when it comes to solving equations in algebra on my uh, YouTube channel. But uh, if you really want to master this stuff, you might want to check out like my pre-algebra or algebra course. But if this video helped you out in some small way, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. 
And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have, I have over a thousand YouTube videos, okay? All math, uh, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So that's a pretty, um, you know, uh, for me to make this content, I do it from the heart. I do it because I'm passionate about helping those of you out there that need help in math. Okay, I would love nothing more to be able to help you out. So please take advantage of all the videos I post or I have posted, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.